I haven't seen Confession. Okay. Oh, me neither. I've, I've okay. never even heard of this Confessions movie. is actually a Japanese movie, <gasps> right? Uh, Very I know. <laughs> I know, and it's it's the one oh. movie- Kokuhaku? I think I've read Kokuhaku. the book. Yeah, read the yeah, book. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so I didn't know it was even based on the book, yeah. but it's m probably my favorite revenge movie of all time. I think it's a Miyabi Miyuki book. Is, is it the one where it's like set in high school? Yeah. With like yeah. two girls? Kind of, kind I think, of. I think so, that's the one. So the concept of this movie mm -hmm. um, is uh, the main character's a teacher, right? Yeah. And she used to teach a uh, teacher class, yeah. right? And so these two students from these class, or I, I, can, I think it's like two or three students from this class, they basically uh, they basically murder her her, uh, her daughter. Yeah. Um, but because of Japanese laws, if you're like a minor, then you can't be charged, mm -hmm. even if you've technically like killed somebody, right? Which is fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which which is fucked, and yeah. that's like the whole premise of this movie. Yeah, yeah. And the premise of this movie is just her basically playing fucking 5D chess against these high schoolers mm. and just coming up with a very unique like revenge scheme against mm. these kids, mm. right? And it's kind of it's kind of like maybe similar to Old Boy if you've seen Old Boy, but yeah, maybe just maybe just not as fucked. Yeah. I think uh, I yeah, old yeah. Boy's pretty fucked. Yeah, old, old boy's boy is, old boy's pretty fucked. And my problem with old boy is that I'm surprised old boy isn't on your three by three. Well, my problem with old boy is I really liked it, but there are definitely some parts of old boy that really push your suspension of disbelief. Mm. Like like uh without spoiling like without spoiling the ending of old boy or something. There's mm. some plot elements where you're just like-, like the final twist. Yeah, like the final yeah. twist yeah. where you're just- that? Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> the, the, the final <laughs> twist where you're just like, <laughs> I guess I can, I can, can, I, can the human mind be tricked into doing this? Yeah. Uh, that's like kind of pushing it. What I like about Confessions is that it's kind of like the same kind of deal where it's one person look uh, getting revenge over people, yeah. but it's just, it's kind of like, she's kind of like, a light Yagami Lelouch kind of character where she it's it's a very it's a very intricate but revenge it's believable. plot. But it's believable. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's I mean it's believable because the whole premise is fucked to begin with. Mm. Because this is real. Like you know, Japanese miners cannot be charged even if they kill somebody. Mm. And that's that's like the premise of the movie. But um the way it unravels is really, really interesting. And um for a Japanese movie as well. One of the biggest things I remember when watching this movie for the first time is that out of nowhere, they start playing Radiohead. Hell this, yeah. And, and I'm just like, is that fucking Radiohead I'm listening to now? And so oh, Radiohead is part of this- 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, literally one of the best parts of this movie was just like, you know, like the, the song for like the epic reveal where she reveals everything. Yeah. It's just fucking Radiohead. Right. And I'm just like, this is this is the best reveal I've ever seen in a movie. Wait, which Radiohead song is it? Um, I, I can't remember. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. it's, it's not a- You just remember like, the emotions. Again. I just yeah. remember the emotions, man. It's, it's not a, it's not the most famous Radiohead songs. Right, but, right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the one movie that I think is like really underground because mm. it's a Japanese movie. Uh, and I, Everyone who's watched it so far has been really, really fucking impressed. And I don't see many people talking about this movie because yeah. I feel like Japanese cinema, uh, Japanese cinema in general just gets looked over a lot, mm. but- I feel like because they tackle very Japanese things more often than not. Like yeah, the way definitely. they go about things is very Japanese mm. and like kind of like doesn't really make, not, not that it doesn't make sense, but just kind of odd. Yeah, there's a lot of like cultural elements and like yeah. things that they throw back to that where other people will be like, oh, that doesn't happen in my school. You have to, yeah, you have to kind of like just look past a lot of things. I think when you watch mm. Japanese movies of foreigner, cause you can't yeah. relate to most yeah. of the stuff. Yeah. And I, yeah, cause like I've de I've definitely read this book before and I really, really enjoyed it. Like back in like high school as well. I think it's quite an old book, mm. but um, yeah, I, I mean, for one, I didn't even know there was, this was like a movie, first of all. And yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. know it was available in English. I just, cause like a lot of Japanese cinema doesn't make it outside of Japan. Oh, but like, there's always translations online. Oh yeah, 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 yeah of course. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. I, I just wasn't expecting this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I recommend a lot of movies from this director. I can't remember his name, but Confessions is my favorite one. Is it on the poster? <laughs> Memories, Memories of Matsuko is another movie that this director made that is like really underground, even for like Japanese cinema, but it's mm. fucking amazing. Okay. Um, But yeah, just f like, if, you, if you're gonna take anything out of my three by three, watch Confessions because more people need to know about Confessions, Kokuhaku. Um, it's an amazing movie. It's one of the few Japanese movies that I think is just easily accessible to like anyone. Mm. You don't really need to know about Japanese culture. Mm. Um, it's just a good revenge plot. And it kind of, if you like old boy or, you know, a lot of Korean movies, mm. you're probably gonna like Confessions. Yeah, Miyabi Miyuki, I think is, is the original woman who wrote 
Kokaku. Right. Like all of her books kind of like deal with this kind of like, yeah. Tech, it's kind of like criticizing fucked up parts of Japan yeah. and like using it as like an advantage. Rather. Yeah, I'm yeah. down for that. It's really yeah. good. Yeah, the book I remember that sounds really good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Might actually watch it. Yeah. Um,